Welcome to the 38th annual Tri-Cities Wine Festival brought to you by the Tri-Cities Wine Society. I'm here with Chris and Angela from San Juan Winery. San Juan Vineyards. San Juan Vineyards. Yeah. All the way from San Juan. Yes. This is wonderful. This is really exciting. I haven't been to the San Juans, but I, I, I want to go just so I can come to your winery. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. Come by. Tell me a little bit about the wines that you brought here this evening. You've had uh, some awards. Congratulations. We did. They, they've all won an award. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. Um, tonight we brought uh, Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, we're, these aren't the grapes we're growing on the island. They're from Horse Seven Hills. Okay. Very close by. So you're, yeah, that's right, the local yeah. around where we are right now, but you do grow grapes. Let's yeah, go on. yeah, it's a very cool climate. So, so what do you grow? Uh, Madeleine Angevine and mm. Sigareva. So that sounds really exotic. Yeah. <laughs> they're pretty much only grown in the Puget Sound. So oh. kind of the specialty out there. See, so that's really cool that you have a unique niche. Right. A lot of people, I mean, a lot of people here I feel like don't have that. Everyone kind of can make things their own, but that's a really cool thing to have out there. Yeah, it's super unique. You know, dry farm. It's fun to work with. It's yeah. A challenge. It's a cool, very, very So you very are cool the winemaker. Yes. And do you run, you farm the vineyard then as well? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Really exciting. All right, I'd love to try some. What sure. am I going to try? Uh, 2012 Cabernet Franc. This is my favorite red in our, our lineup. So Cab Franc is typically a little bit more light bodied, is that correct? A little more light bodied than Cabernet Sauvignon. It's actually one of the parent grapes of Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh my gosh, no. So. Oh. Wow. I, I want this as like a perfume. <laughs> it smells so good and it tastes so good. I mean, oh, obviously, per yeah, it might be like perfume. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my goodness. So, so is this one of your like flagship high, high production wines or is this not? Uh, uh, tell me about your production. Yeah, the, the reds, uh, we're kind of, we're more a white wine, summer wine specialty. The winery being on the island there. Uh, sure. We, we have the Cab, I would say the Cab Bronx is probably a signature red. So uh, do you have a tasting room on, at your facility? Yeah, we do. Very yeah. cool. I don't, Near Friday Harbor on the San Juan Island. Beautiful, I bet it's beautiful view. So, are you open all year round? Being maybe is there is it a destination type only seasonal? Tell me a little bit more. I've never been to the area. Uh, we're open year round. Yeah, we big in the summer. It's okay. a big summer tourist season there, but we're open uh, throughout the year. Uh, this time of year, are weekends. But sure. So, right. Have you have you been to the wine festival yet? We've been coming for how long? How many years? years? Not all 38. I would be I would be yeah. impressed. It's been all 30 days. Ten. Ten? Yeah. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, I'd love to try one more before we before we let you be here. This is our gold medal winner. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Congratulations, gold medal. So Cab Sauv, 100%? 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, yeah. Is this one from Horse Heaven or from? Horse Heaven Hills, yeah. Mostly neutral oak, very much straight up Cabernet Sauvignon. This is, this is what Cabernet from Sauvignon from Horse Heaven Hills tastes like. It's, mm. No tricks. It feels like you really just kind of let the wine do what it wants to do. Right. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Angela, it was so nice to meet you both. Again, we're here at the Tri-Cities Wine Festival, 38th annual, brought to you by the Tri-Cities Wine Society.